Okay, this is how to get your iPhone 3GS videos back onto your iPhone 3GS after you've synchronized them with iPhoto and chosen to delete them from your phone. Most people realize once they've deleted them that they can't edit them on their phone again even if they try and synchronize them using uh, iTunes. So, easy way to do it is to download something like this, free version of Wi-Fi Discover. It allows you to browse through your folder, your photo folders. You can see 100 Apple, 101 Apple. You can browse to that folder using Safari and then drop your movies back into their original folders. Once you've done that though, there's a couple issues. You can go back and look at them and they'll show up with two different ways. Sometimes they'll show up just completely black even though you can see that they show up as recognized. So you can go back to your camera roll. The other problem is they show up squished instead of um, the square that they should be. Sometimes they'll even show up with a black background and you won't see anything. So, um, again, when you plug in your iPhone and it synchronizes with iPhoto, it'll come up with something like this, where it doesn't show the videos at all. It'll allow you to import them, but it doesn't actually show them. And what we want to get to is where they show up normal again. So, we'll unplug it. We'll actually click on one of these. And the easiest way to do is just to scrub to the very end. Notice that you're not taking anything off, you're just click you're just selecting it and then dropping your finger off of it. You can trim it now. Once it trims the video, it recreates the file associated with it that lets you go back and view them not squished together. And with that, again, once you plug in and an iPhoto comes up and notice that that one is again perfect. So once you've done that for all your videos you can delete your original ones that you have in iPhoto re-import them and choose not to delete and then choose the selection hide photo hide photos already imported that way you'll have the backup on iPhoto you have the originals on your iPhone, and you can still edit them and send them out. There you have it.